All right, so let's think about the different kinds of life for a few minutes. If you think of all the different kinds of organisms that exist on Earth, there's much diversity there. We can break all the different kinds of living organisms into three different domains. There's the domain archaea, the domain bacteria, and the domain eukarya. The domain archaea includes unicellular prokaryotic organisms that represent some very ancient life forms. For example, some of the uh, members of the domain archaea live in very hot environments or some live in very extremely salty environments. Uh, so there's some really unusual organisms. The domain bacteria are also composed or is also composed of unicellular prokaryotes and these is, are what we refer to as typical bacteria like streptococcus that might make someone sick. Um, the domain eukarya is composed entirely of eukaryotic organisms and this domain eukarya is broken up into four groups. One group we collectively refer to as the protist. And the protist is made up of a group of, of many different kingdoms, but these may be unicellular or they may be multicellular. This includes things like the multicellular algae like uh, ulva or spirogyra. It includes unicellular organisms like amoebas or euglena uh, or paramecium are some common ones. So the other three groups are, uh, are kingdoms. One is the kingdom fungi. Fungi are like mushrooms and yeast, um, puff balls. These are all heterotrophic. As a general rule, they're decomposers and their cells have cell walls made of a substance called chitin. The kingdom animalia, of course, are our animals. Animals are heterotrophic, but they're consumers. Heterotrophic means that they must find a ready-made source of organic food. They can't make their own organic food. Animals, unlike the fungi, have no cell walls. The kingdom plantae, of course, includes the plants. And you are familiar with plants, trees, grass, etc., are plants. And these organisms are autotrophic. That means that they can use uh, an energy source and, to make their own organic food. And of course, plants use sunlight and carbon dioxide to make uh, their own organic food source. And plants have cell walls made of a substance called cellulose. So when we think about the diversity of life on Earth, we can arrange it into three different domains, and then within the domain eukarya, there are the protists, fungi, animals, and plants.